The treadmill offers a walk to walk, run, or jog indoors when the weather, schedule, or terrain does not promote outdoor exercise. Whether you are a beginner trying to achieve a level of fitness for health or a seasoned runner, you can benefit from incline and speed work on the treadmill. Regardless of your specific goals, incorporating these modalities will improve your endurance, leg strength, calorie burn, and lung capacity. Treadmill Pictures Expect commercial treadmills like those found in a fitness center to run in speed from 5 miles per hour up to about 12 or 15 miles per hour. The inclines on these treadmills also range from 0% to 15%, with some treadmills offering incline of as much as 30%. Home version of treadmills often have lower settings, so check with your manufacturer before purchasing. Speed Speedwork often referred to as fat leg training refers to sports of speed inserted in the middle of runs. The length of these drills may vary from very specialty time intervals of 15 seconds to 3 minutes with time recoveries to unplanned drills that challenge you off and on during your session. You do not have to run to include speedwork. You might be a walker stripping to run in alternate jogging and walking. Inclines Heels may be included during a running workout or be used by a treadmill walker to make a workout more challenging. Runners may include treadmill heels as part of a long training run. Focus on one long heel or run short heel drills at an increased pace. Using a treadmill helps runners who do not live in a hilly area and allows them to arrange their workout so as to help meet their goals. Walkers may stimulate a hike and weight glut and hamstring muscle by adding an incline to their workout. Benefits Adding an incline or speed increases the amount of calories you burn in your treadmill workout. A 150-pound woman can burn 1800 calories in an hour running up to 5% incline at 6 miles per hour as opposed to 550 calories in and how running at the same speed on a flat treadmill. Heel running or walking also improves leg strength, efficiency of movement from an aerobic conditioning. Speed drills contribute to improved endurance and pet burning capacity. In a 2005 study published in the Journal of Applied Psychology, researchers saw that just two weeks of interval training doubled endurance levels in six of eight college-age athletes. Another study in a 2007 edition of the Journal of Applied Psychology showed that performing intervals of hard exercise like speed drills helps the body become better able to burn fat. In this Canadian study, 8 women performing interval workouts over the course of 2 weeks increased the amount of fat they burn in an hour of moderate exercise by 36% as an added bonus. These intervals have increased the woman's oxygen efficiency by 13%. Considerations Choosing heel work or speed work really depends on your goals. A walker who is unable to run because of joint problems may find heel work a preferable way to increase the intensity of the workout as he can avoid the impact of running. Runners looking improve their training for an outdoor race benefit from treadmill hill drill because it prepares them for outdoor terrains. Speed drills are appropriate for experienced runners looking to increase their overall running speed. Aspiring runners benefit from speed drills as it gives from an opportunity to ease the body into running without overdoing it and risking sin splints and extreme muscle soreness. Ideally, including both types of work in your running or walking workout will benefit your overall fitness level and help you achieve your goals. Regardless of the workout you choose, be sure to warm up and cool down appropriately wear proper footwear and stretch. Warning Hike speed intervals 
so not be performed every day even if you do not feel completely exhausted afterwards speed work stresses the musculate of the body treat high intensity speed intervals as you would strength training and leave about 24 to 58 hours between sessions intense interval training that drives your heart rate up to 80 or 90 percent to maximum is inappropriate for people with cardiac conditions cross training on end of the treadmill will help you frequent injury in the long run